Because of its former wealth, Venice is a city of palaces. The most lavish face the Grand Canal. Enjoying the views from a Vaporetto is about the best way to really appreciate the front doors of this historic chorus line of mansions, most from the 14th and 15th centuries. Palaces like these remind us that Venetian merchants amassed lots of capital. With aggressive trade policies and clever alliances, for Venice, the Eastern Mediterranean was a virtual free trade zone. As Venetian nobles traded their way into fabulous wealth, they built luxurious palaces like this one, which has been owned by the Pisani family for nearly 400 years. Their counterparts on the mainland had to fortify their places with heavy stone and tall towers. But with their natural lagoon defenses, Venetian palazzos could be sumptuous rather than fortified. A palace served all of a family's needs. Import-export warehouse at water level, business offices above that, and plush living quarters above that, all under one roof. The goods, in the case of this family, furs, salt, cotton, and coffee, came off ships through this loading dock. Today, many former palazzos survive as hotels. While there are a number of luxurious big hotels in town, my favorites are the smaller, family-run ones, which combine historic character, a warm and friendly welcome, and plenty of travel tips. At this hotel, I'm splurging to enjoy that prince-for-a-day feeling in the lounge, a bedroom with all the comforts, and a terrace with a view of the Grand Canal. 